Hey, this is Faris Al Hajri, PhD AM. I am from Oman and presently in Virginia since for the last four and a half years. And particularly, we are in Virginia Tech Corporate Research Center, our office, Hakwa Wellness Consulting Office. This particular recording, we emphasize the difference between a, a human being in terms of uh, performance and a vehicle or any machine. When it comes to performance, the vehicle is a human made, is an artificial human made. And the vehicle relies on its artificial fuels. We coin them as fuels under one name, such as the engine oil, the coolant, the brake oil, transmission oil, and so on. But if the vehicle, irrespective of the brand or the price of the model, even if it's a brand new vehicle, but if it is depleted with one of these fuels, for example, brake oil, then you cannot run that vehicle, specific vehicle. And if it runs out of uh, engine oil, the same thing, you cannot run that vehicle, otherwise the engine will just overheat and you just destroy the engine. And so on. So without oil, engine oil, the vehicle cannot perform. Without the coolant, the engine cannot perform. It will overheat and it will just destroy the engine. Without the oil, the engine also cannot run because the metal parts will just uh, get destroyed because of the oil uh, that facilitate the movement of the pistons and all the parts of the, of the engine. So in conclusion, in a short and brief, is that you cannot run a vehicle without any one of these fuels. You cannot run it. And Secondly, you need to assure proper maintenance of the vehicle. For example, every 5,000 miles or 10,000 kilometers or 12,000 kilometers, you need to have the vehicle. So according to the manufacturer uh, direction, specification, you need to have the vehicle regularly serviced. You need to have the vehicle, uh, the vehicle regularly maintained in terms of even uh, washing the vehicle, cleaning the vehicle. But the vehicle is completely different from human being. A vehicle is a, is a human made, and it fully relies with the artificial fuels. Whereas a human being is not a human made machine. A human being is a super intelligent machine that has its own innate ability to self healing, self protection, self maintenance. When you go to check carefully, carefully with the tenet of osteopathy, you could find that it's scientifically proven that the body itself, for example, the liver, detoxified all these toxins from the body. The white blood cells, they swallow any foreign invaders, trying to protect us from any, uh, any bacteria, infections, and so on, that could infect the body, and so on. So, but again, the human being relies on its natural fuels. And these fuels are not man-made. These fuels are completely natural. And at the time when the baby is formed in the womb of the mother, the fetal development that starts to take place, the first thing the baby is encountered with the amniotic fluid, where when you look carefully, biologically, the amniotic fluid is actually hot water. That means it's 99% water, and the temperature is exactly 37.5 degrees Celsius, which is about 99 point something degree Fahrenheit. So that means the fetal growth takes place with the presence of the hot water. And hot water is a composition of hydrogen, oxygen, and when it's hot, so it's, we talk about the four essential elements of life as we coin them, namely water, oxygen, 
hydrogen and energy. And by maintaining these fuels, then the body can have its own innate ability to protect itself against any harm, against any uh, infection and so on. So self-healing, self-protection and self-maintenance. So again, the human body falls sick or can have any infection. In fact, it can be affected by any uh, physical performance or emotional performance or a mental performance or even spiritual performance if it lacks one of these uh, natural fuels in addition to regular maintenance of the body which actually uh, we believe is to maintain the body's uh, ability to the, the food that we eat the exercise that we do every day and so on so in a regular activity that we conduct on every day on a daily basis that's another metaphor to consider that the body needs a regular maintenance of course with the maintaining the therapeutic methods of uh, aqua gulping, drinking hot water at specific temperatures recommended, and which is actually one of the modalities of aqua revitalized therapy. So we thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.